this is Anna aka the nail architect and I'm back with another video let me just cut long story short and say I only come on here if I have something that um, I feel like it's gonna be beneficial for any of my fellow nail techs so this video is all about practice hands again <laughs> first and foremost I want to tell you uh, that uh, the, the practice hands that I had before I no longer have them Three to four years ago, I decided to get rid of a lot of my things. I don't like clutter. It gives me a lot of anxiety. So I like clean, simple. With that, I want to say that I sold them. I've sold them for like, I think it's been like maybe, maybe just a little bit after the video. I sold those practice hands because I already, I was eyeing some other practice hand on AliExpress. I'm pretty sure you guys remember these practice fingers that I raved about, um, that I cut from my other practice hand and the thing that we all actually complained about these hands was this cuticle area that was quite thin and it was kind of hard to practice um, applying product and filing. So now I want you to look at this, this new practice fingers that I got from AliExpress and uh, about two colors i was testing to see which size tip uh, i needed to use on these they are just about the same length um but in terms of thickness i would say the new version is a little bit thicker and the material itself it's much uh, harder than the previous one so as we discussed this was like very soft like almost like jelly and this one this at least this silicone they used is a lot stronger so i like it a lot another thing that i don't know if you noticed but let me just take this i'll take these tips off look at the cuticle area it's much thicker than it used to be so this is the previous one right look how much thicker the cuticle area is can you see that this is amazing, right? We needed a stronger cuticle area in order to be able to file. And we finally, I think they heard people's complaints and it's great when companies do this. I'm so excited to try them. Um, the way I would um, make sure to have my hands free when I'm doing nail art. So you guys know I use a lot of uh, clip phone holders just for my practice hands. I recently bought this uh, shorter version so I don't have to bend it as much. Uh, the clip is okay. I don't have any problems with it, but if I do, you know me, I'm gonna use some elastic bands to make tension here. I don't mind it having it like this because it's movable. It's actually relaxed for me to, you know, bend it <laughs> whenever I'm doing my nail art videos. For most people, uh, if they have a glass desk, it can get the suction cup to work on it but if you are struggling to get um, your section pot uh, on your table i'm going to show you what i use i bought these marble placements from the range uh, this basically is like if you having a dinner party and you want to make like a fancy table you can put this and then put the plates on top um, i saw this and i was in love right away because it's glass so what I do, I put some uh, blue tack in here just to make sure it, um, it's not like really sliding on my table. So then um, I will get my mount, place it, and here you have it. This is how it was going to look like. And it's really cool. Obviously now I'm recording this YouTube video, so I have my phone horizontally. But when I'm recording videos on Instagram, I will turn it uh, like vertically. And I will just have the shot of the finger without like cutting this bit here. Another thing that I want to mention is that, again, this, these fingers are easily prone to catch any type of fluff. As for my previous video, I was not lying. This is like my holy grail to clean up my practice hands. So I get one of my wipes, especially after I'm done with my nail art. I clean up the fingers, as you can see. And this way, you don't have to worry about gel or acrylic dust onto your finger on your final result. I did get another practice hand because, again, remember, I sold all the other practice hands I had, except for my heavy-duty one. I still have it. 
as i'm finding it hard to get rid of it just because i did find the perfect hand back then um to practice filing so i'm not sure if i'm going to sell my heavy duty hand if ever but i needed something that i can display nail art and obviously i can pose the hand it is much better than the previous ones it's much harder i feel like this silicone is an equivalent to these fingers because look at the thickness of this finger and the thickness of this nail whatever the silicone they used here is much stronger and the cuticle area is a lot better still on a thin side but i think a lot better you can see a lot more silicone around this area here that you didn't see with this Another thing, this practice hand has a wrist and I love this. This one takes a little bit longer to pose, but it's still, um, it's still the same. I love it because you can really get that natural, I believe so, I, the natural hand pose that you couldn't get with other practice hands, even with the ready one ones. Um, again, the hand itself is bigger than mine. I think even including the wrist, let me just be honest, even including the wrist, so it's a very cute and realistic hand, has a lot of detail. However, when you turn it around and you compare this detail with the other hand, I think we kind of lost it a bit. Uh, I'm not sure if if I'm just seeing this because I don't have the other hand here to compare I I will say that I don't think the details that you find on the palm is reflective on the on the top maybe it's just me maybe it's just me but I felt like there was much more detail on the other one I'm not sure maybe I'm just tripping so I got this hand a little bit cheaper because I had a lot of coupons, but still, I think for the average consumer, if you are just going there to get this hand, I find that is a little bit overpriced. I'm just going to be honest. Uh, the only reason why I bought this hand is because I sold the other two, as I said. So the money that I spent on that other hand, I wanted to get something still posable, still realistic that I, I could uh, do nail designs and pose for pictures on my Instagram. The color is not very realistic. Uh, they have about three or four colors. I will try to leave it here on the screen so you can see how, uh, the colors they have. So on the picture, and I must say it's very misleading, I thought this was a tan color. Like I am tan, I mean, more on the yellow color, <laughs> but I am tan. And this is like, I'm not sure if anyone has this type of color. I'm not sure. Makeup is like a must for this practice hand. And because I already have quite good experience with the other one, I don't think it would be an issue to do the same here. It's just a bummer because I will have to pull out my palette every time I finish it, like a design to make it like good for the pictures. I'm gonna show you here how amazing the cuticle area looks on this side, on this hand. So I'm pretty sure this is going to last me for a long time because uh, it's just going to be to put some rings so it looks cute. I can pose it for pictures. So again, don't invest on this if you want to practice filing, whether if it's acrylic or gel. I still wouldn't dare to use um, any bits <laughs> around this cuticle area. As I said, it's much better. You could take a chance, but I wouldn't. If you love to do nail art, but your clients don't a hand like this is going to give you freedom to practice to keep your skills uh, sharp and yeah and pose it and looking really really natural on the other hand if you are looking for um heavy duty heavy duty as i put it um hand i did buy another hand and this one i would say you can definitely file uh, you can practice acrylic and gel uh, application and this is the hand that I got. It comes with a mount and this is amazing. For the other hands that I had, I, I had to use clip phone holders, but I'm kind of glad that this one comes with its own. Uh, so this is how it looks. So it comes with this mount here. Uh, you have five fingers. 
uh, they are not bendable but um, the, again the silicone is hard it's not jelly at all and the detailing now wow I'm really impressed with this detailing I would say it's a life-size hand it's realistic that's what I mean um, I just find it curious that this finger here is like they are all spaced like somewhat like the same but this pinky finger is so like far away I don't know um, but I like I like this I really do I feel like they have done a great job this one I definitely recommend for any of you who wants to practice gel or acrylic application the silicone is hard you see how thick this is so if you compare the practice finger and the practice hand you can definitely see how thick the this cuticle area is so this is going to be your best friend whenever you want to file or hold tips in and if you found that these practice fingers are, are an upgrade from the previous fingers this hand is definitely a much higher upgrade um, comparing to all the other practice hands that uh, you can find on aliexpress and this hand itself is even more realistic than my heavy duty one i don't even think you would need to put makeup on this it has like this uh, yellow color it's showing up on the camera quite yellow but it's really a natural color i would say now if you compare it to the practice hand that i'm going to use for nail art you can see this looks much more realistic than this in terms of sizing in terms of like the thickness of the fingers it looks much more natural this one is with the detailing is more realistic if that makes sense And now the mount is um, is short and is very simple. Um, it's a suction cup again. I didn't remove it yet, but I will do it now. So this is the suction cup, and what you do, you just so you screw the hand here, and then you adjust this little piece as much as you want it. So it's stuck there um, this ball part if obviously if you loosen up these you will give you whatever angle you need so if you need it coming higher or coming lower this is the ball that's going to allow you to do all of that um, also another thing that I like I don't know if this was made in, on purpose or not but whenever you're applying gel, I think it's going to be a great thing that you can turn the finger around to level up the product. Same concept as the previous. I get this marble placement. I apply it. I press it. This little part that what you do, you just press it down and really get stuck. So whenever you want to remove it, you just lift this and press it to release. And it's going to give you, um, it's going to remove the suction power and you can remove this very easily so right now it's really well stuck in there this hand is a little bit heavy i wouldn't think um so it's heavy but for me because i'm used to my heavy duty one i don't think this is heavy at all but for someone who's getting this hand for the first time this piece might throw them off because it's heavier and if you get anything that's glass um you will be fine i'm gonna use some tips here just so i can show you these are actually okay. They are squ squarish all the way. So it doesn't matter if you apply them upside down or not, but just as a habit, force of habit, I always do. So let me go size down. So let me see. I think like a size five will work okay in most fingers. Now this one probably is a bit, needs a bit bigger. So this is size five on the index and ring finger. And I'm gonna go size four for the middle finger. And I'm guessing size seven for the pinky. And obviously if you wanna put something on the thumb, I'm going for a number two. 
and there you go i think it's quite cool to have something like this honestly i think practice is key even like the new trends that come out you need to practice somewhere so for me having a practice hand is where i troubleshoot everything and then if i have to transfer it onto someone else i already have run all the issues that i could possibly have um and i won't feel anxiety or um, pressure or stress when i'm uh, actually doing it on someone else so I, I'm always advocating for practice hands as much as possible. So if you, after you finish your set, you wanted to, I don't know, like maybe take some pictures, but the hand, like the fingers look too spread apart. So this elastic band came with, I think some of my AliExpress parcels. So I get this, right? And then you just go around and get it to, get the fingers together whatever it helps to get that pinky finger a little bit closer move it away from the from the, the camera uh, and just have it like this right i'm gonna zoom in so i can hide it a bit better but yeah this is what i would do if i wanted to showcase my work after i'm done you just need the fingers really and the longer the nails are, you, you need less fingers on show uh, and more of the tips, right? So this is how I would do to showcase whatever I'm doing. So now let's say if you want to practice um, using forms, you can always do that. And I'm going to show you. So you're going to need some tape and obviously a paper form. You just need to get enough um, tape to go around the fingers. So it needs to overlap, if that makes sense. So I am going to apply it here just to show you. Okay. So you see the tape is overlapping over here. This is how it's going to look. You can make it really tight. Um, so it doesn't... So when we apply the form, it's not going to move too much. So I don't like these forms very much. But, uh, and I don't, I don't use them very often. If I do, I use the different ones. But look, this is a trick. You see this circle that you have uh, on most forms? What I do, I usually line it in the back, but I leave a little bit like this. You see this? This is gonna go under the tip and allow you to keep a stable form, okay? So I'm going to roll it as you usually do. Get it here. The stickiness on these type of forms is horrible. That's why I'm saying that you could use this one for your practice hand. So I don't want to waste this because I have a massive roll. So I use this these forms here on my practice hand. And as I said, you can use this bit here and it goes under the tip. You see it there? I'm going to zoom in so you can see it better. Right, it goes under and then the tabs go on the tape. I sometimes get a little bit frustrated with this with these forms because obviously I know that whatever shape I'm getting, uh, it might be crooked or it might not fill up the everything as you would get with a with a form that's properly fitted. But again, if you just want to practice um creating a tip or some type of extension on a form, this is how um, I would do it. It's not perfect, but it's definitely a way of you keep practicing um, your skills. Just be careful when you're cutting the tape that you don't cut the silicone, okay? Just pull upwards so you don't go dig into the silicone and then that should be easy to remove. This hand is from AliExpress. Once again, um, I'll leave you the link for this hand, uh, how much I paid for it. Um, and if I'm honest, it's really worth it if you want to invest in a practice hand. Uh, it's not the cheapest. I'm not going to front. But uh, comparing this hand with the other silicone hand from the hand dolly that I've showed you on my last video, I, um, I think this is a much uh, cheaper uh, alternative. Uh, and very good quality, uh, all the same. I almost forgot again 
uh, that I needed to talk to you about the tips. Those uh, index fingers, I am using size four and it's like a medium length uh, coffin, as you can see. And again, this silicone is so good that it grips. If you wanted to use it to start applying product on top for this length, it, it just holds perfectly. There's no gaps in there. Let me see if I was to insert all the way in, like to the maximum. And this is the depth of the well for this practice hand, for this lovely practice hand. Because if you think this would be whatever is left to file, uh, whatever it's left for you to glue a tip on, I think this is a very reasonable um, depth. Again, for the practice fingers is the same, a good depth on the well. So this is amazing. The wells on these new fingers are promising. I love that. I really do. And then for the practice hand, this is basically for me. If I wanted to do some nail art on this finger, it's really nice. There's no gaps here on the cuticle area, as you can see. I love, 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 love this practice hand for nail art. It's going to look really realistic once you put up makeup and you pose it uh, because of this cuticle area that there's no gaps in there. Um, again, I don't mind it in terms of how deep it goes because I am not going to use this to practice, but I'll just show you just for the sake of um, showing you the depth. Again, this is the depth of these practice hands for the wells. Okay. This is how deep you would be able to insert your tips on this silicone hand. The way I'm putting the tips, it wouldn't be the way that I would insert these tips, if that makes sense. I would turn it around. So I would use these tips upside down. This is how I would insert the tip if I was ever wanting to do that. Um, this is how I would do it. It's the other way around. But I am not going to. For the reason that I'm not going to use this practice hand to file. But for the practice fingers, if I wanted to use this, I would just turn it the way around, this way around. And same thing for this practice hand. I would turn this way around and apply a tip or extension, whatever the case may be. I hope my explanations here have been uh, sufficient and that you can make um, a good decision on what to invest in next. I'm quite aware my hand dolly practice hand is quite expensive and not everybody can afford it. Also, if you are not patient, then this AliExpress purchase are not for you. But if you are, and if you are excited to see improvement, you can invest on these things. And um, I'm happy to be the person that can show you before you make a decision. If you decide to purchase any of these hands, any of the practice fingers, please leave me a comment, leave me a thumbs up, and let's all help each other out. I am signing out. I'm wishing you all the very best. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you on the next one. Bye-bye.